Welcome again, everybody, to Hot Plate Madness. Happy birthday! It is happy birthday. Both Jen and I born tomorrow, tomorrow. June 30th. We have and the so same birthday. That's why we're super awesome. This is a warm fire. <laughs> <laughs> Today, however, and we've promised this for a while, we are doing some outdoor camping, and we have found ourselves deep in the forests of Wasilla. Deep! Deep, as you can see in the from jungle. the background. That was like a moose or something. The concrete jungle. And so, Jen, what are we doing today? We are doing um, a special birthday surprise. We are doing campfire tinfoil peach cobbler, I think. Okay, and I'm amazed by this because the concept is we're throwing a bunch of stuff in tinfoil and we're pushing it in here and somehow it turns into food. Ta-da! Okay, so what do we need to do? Okay, so for peach cobbler, well, campfire version peach cobbler cake, you're gonna need some yellow cake mix, all right? You're gonna need peaches in heavy syrup. Oh, in heavy syrup. There's That's a difference. My favorite kind, right? There's a difference. You could use cinnamon, optional. Yep. Also okay. fun. You'll need heavy duty foil. <laughs> and it's just because this is going into the flame. Right? Yes, okay. if you get normal foil that you cover your food and put it in the fridge, it's gonna it's gonna burn right through that. So okay. you're gonna want the heavy duty foil, okay? You're gonna need newspaper, okay? And that's to read while we're waiting for the stuff to cook then? No, wow. I will show right. you. This is where Roger has little faith, but I'm going to prove him wrong. <laughs> You'll need butter, okay? And some brown sugar and Birthday candles. Birthday candles. You can't do a cake without a candle. You can't right? have birthday peach cobbler and not blow out a candle. And we're not blowing out the fire. Right. So. And I noticed we also have our... Yes, we have you know. our 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 um, TV host <laughs> TV set host chairs. chairs. Right, exactly. And I'm too small, we so get, I have to do one of these things to get into it. Like this. And, and you just kind of like shimmy yourself in there. Well, and the fact that we're deep in the woods and no one really knows where we are deep right now. Deep in the woods. Deep in the woods. Um, yes. It is important to bring stuff along to be in comfort. Yeah. I don't know that I really find this comfortable because I'm <laughs> no, sitting here like this in the chair. Yeah, but did you know that you can actually like, you know, oh, lay so back it's, in it. That, it's a hammock kind of thing. You could sleep in this. You could. And so if you had one of these, you got your chair for camping and you got your bed for camping. Throw a tarp over the top, you're good to go. Well, and you could also do some role playing as hobbits. Well, Roger can role play as a <laughs> hobbit quite easily. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow, everybody. All right, so what do we need Let's to do? Let's get started, to get Roger. Okay. okay. Now, I have done this before, Roger. Okay. It's just been like since Riker was seven. He's 15 almost. So, so like 30 years ago. Yeah, it's been a okay. while, but I know that it worked. Okay, well. I just, uh, I didn't write down exactly what I did. Yeah, and we know what so... happens when Jen doesn't write down stuff or follow recipes. <laughs> the um, files! You know, I keep doing Let a shout out this. to the I'm, okay. I'm so excited episode. Don't start with I know, the I have to start episode. because it Don't always starts start. with, oh, I, I, I know how to do this. Roger. I didn't really read the directions and then we end up with this nightmare. That's... I never claimed to know what I was I doing. I don't know. Well, that's the <laughs> great part about Hot Plate Madness, right? Is we're not saying we're We don't exactly know. You know? It's we're like, it's we're learning together. We didn't even start this fire. We didn't. <laughs> right. So. My dad and my son started this fire. And we put some so here's a little fire knowledge for you. So those of you who are, you know, in the woods and you don't have exactly a bunch of resources, you're not gonna have charcoal briquettes so you can throw on the fire. That's okay. You can still cook this peach cobbler on coals that are made from the wood. It's just for the purpose of time sensitivity. We put some colds on there just to make it a little bit easier today. Okay, so we got our peat, our um, our foil with ash landing on it. Okay, We're going to so scoop a couple of peaches on here. Yeah, like this. See how we're doing this? Oh, and you're lining them all up like they're, well, they're buddies. You're going to, you're, they're spooning. <laughs> it's kind of like, so, yeah. Like you? you got a bunch of cats and they're all sleeping somewhere. <laughs> Stupid cat. Cat reference, cat reference. Had cat to reference. I can't see in the smoke. And have you noticed that about Is Jen, it going right? to go away? Have you noticed that? It's like, oh, it's too many onions. I can't see. 
Now there's too much smoke. I can't see. Shut up about the onions. See. It hurts. Although, amazingly enough, this, there's this, no onions for this one. There's so. no onions for this one, but there's smoke. So the struggle is real. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to open up my cake mix. Notice we didn't bring out bowls and all kinds of stuff because I want you to really like be able to make something raw out in the woods without having to take your whole kitchen or kitchenette with you. Okay, so we got some cake mix. Where's our cinnamon? It's right here. Oh, so that's using, handy. I'm using the cup holder for Using something. the cup holders. Our foil's blowing away still. I'm gonna go like this and try and keep our foil from blowing away. Okay. You guys may hear that uh, pterodactyl that's swooping by over his. 75 years of savings, go Geico! He's really loud. Dang, Geico sign. Oh, well, it's a search party for us. So I'm throwing some cinnamon on my peaches. Notice the wind is working with us today. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle some cake mix on here. Doesn't that look yummy? Right, and so how does that cake mix turn into something? We're gonna do a little bit of like syrup on here and oh. kind of mix it and mash it in here and get it wet. Okay. See how well that's working for me, Roger? It, it appears to be working really fine. <laughs> yes, it does. Shut up, Roger. I know what I'm doing this time, I think. Okay. Oh my gosh, the whole crowd's laughing at me. Well, there's there's no crowd here. We're deep in the woods. Okay, you get your cake mix on there, right? Okay, where'd my butter go? Oh, right, so the butter will this start. This is going to help, okay. right? I got you. And because we're in the woods, we're just using plastic spoons. We don't have exact measurements. It's foil peach cobbler. We were in the woods though. Shouldn't we have like giant big bowie knives? Nope. Oh, all right then. Not the concrete jungle now. Okay. So you put a little scoop of butter on there. All right. Okay. Now where's the cinnamon or the brown sugar go? Oh, thank you. I forgot the brown sugar. Yeah, right there. See, I don't even know the it's recipe. It's like forgetting the vinegar when you're dying <laughs> right. Easter eggs. Ah. Yes, another shout out to I'm gonna sprinkle so some brown sugar on there. Okay. okay. All right. So now we're gonna wrap. Now the way you wrap your foil is really important, okay? You could just roll it, roll it, roll it, but then when you go to check it, you could tear your foil and make a big mess. My dad taught me how to do this and he knows what he's talking about. So I'm gonna do a fold, okay? A nice good fold. And I'm just gonna continue to fold. all the way down to my peach cobbler okay and then i'm gonna squish my peach cobbler into a little packet like that okay and i'm gonna fold up like this now you don't want to tear your foil if you tear your foil you're going to ruin it trust to me start over basically right? right okay okay so there's that now watch so that's basically uh, ready to go no no this is where things don't burn Okay. You're going to take your newspaper. So now we're going to read the paper while this cooks. Yes. Okay. This is where Roger doesn't have faith because he doesn't know the secrets. I don't. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Guy. I'm going to take a piece of newspaper. Okay. This is actually like one big sheet that's folded. Okay. I'm going to soak it. We get it nice and wet. All right. This is going to make sense but I'm going to put it on the downhill side of the table so that it drains off that side of the table. Okay. And you're so going to you lay your newspaper have, out. That's like a, two sheets of paper, basically. Yep. Okay. And I am wrapping it in the wet paper. Okay. okay. And then I'm going to take another sheet of foil Man, this is a lot of work all of a sudden. What's up? And I'm going to wrap it again. So you wrap it again. In the sheet of foil. So is part of the idea that this, the wet newspaper then is gonna steam, um, steam it, right? Yes, and not okay. burn it. Okay. When the coals hit the foil, it could burn the food. I think that was a grizzly bear. That, that was a grizzly bear, grizzly yes. Bear. <laughs> but if you use the wet paper, you are steaming your food. There's that protective barrier with the cold against the coals. Okay. There's your um, packet ready to go. Now, 
And so you just take I your hand a, and you just shove I it right fire into the coals. Poker. Oh, get off, okay, get off my fire, fire poker, poker right. Roger. Look at that. Wow, that's, that's, is it a piece of wood or is it like a bone or something? I don't know. Okay, right. I'm going to actually just kind of spread out a flat spot to put my... In fact, I'm going to put it right there. Look how beautiful. I'm going to put it just like that. So you don't have to cover it, you just have to set it on there. I'm setting it on there. Okay. What time is it? Okay, we're going to give ourselves about 10 minutes. And we're going to get yours going too, Roger. 10 minutes to do that. Yep. About. About, we're going we're gonna to do 10 minutes and then we're going to roll it over. And we're going to do like another 5 to 10 minutes, depending on like, because some, some areas of the fire are hotter. So if it's looking like you're really cooking it, then you'll check it. How can you but tell? You don't. Oh, okay. Hot plate madness, everybody. Hot plate madness! <laughs> you don't You never tell. know how it turns out until you open up the port. Roger! Right, so Jen, these might melt, but I'm these okay might with that. Melt. Welcome to hot plate madness. So you're pulling yours off. I'm pulling mine off. I'm going to get to the side here. We're going to take a look. Are you going to let it cool off? Oh my gosh, it's melting! It's not melting. <laughs> <laughs> He's scowling at me. I'm going to check and see if it's done. And I'm not using the table because I don't want to melt the table. And if you're in the woods, it's not like you got your table out anyway. I'm just carefully unwrapping, and the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can rewrap it if it needs to go back onto the fire, right? Okay. Again, that's why you want to do nice folds, so that you don't tear it when you're opening it up. I think I'm done, because my newspaper is definitely done. So that newspaper has basically been completely dried But do you see on the up, inside, right? yeah, it's been dried out, but right. the inside's not burned. Right. Oh my gosh, the smoke! <laughs> oh, and here they come. <laughs> we did say we would hear sirens during the show. If they turn down this street, oh good. I was like, they better not turn down this street. <laughs> I'll be like, somebody called us in! Oh my gosh! Peach cobbler! Oh, look at that! Look at that! Now we have special taste testers today, but right. actually we so have we to blow pull, out birthday candles. We should pull our, this one off too, right? Here comes Roger's birthday cake! Of course, knowing Jen's treatment of me over all these episodes, it's probably all burnt. <laughs> I would laugh really hard. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that looks really good, actually. Ta-da! All right. Okay, where's our candles? So let's try this thing and see if our birthday is actually truly a happy one. Oh, it's happy. We just had our first campfire episode. It's we happy. Did. Here we go. Look at this. It's hot. Did you just eat it? I it's did. hot. Did you burn your mouth? Well, no, this is, you know, isn't this the, isn't this your way though? You always blame it on me. <laughs> Everyone else is the ones eating without blowing. All right, the fact of the matter is this is completely awesome. The cinnamon and the brown sugar together are amazing over the, the peaches and stuff. Mm -hmm. And stuff. How oh, professional chef hot. is. <laughs> it's hot. Oh. Now you know oh, what it God. feels like, huh? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was trying to keep up with you. You just totally ditched me in the taste testing episode, uh, part of the episode here. It's amazing. It is amazing, yeah. Everyone so, else is burning. We should probably get their yeah, off. Yeah, we probably should do that and then we have to find our way back into, into civilization that. again, right? Mm. So. That's right, we gotta hike back, back home. Yeah, so Jen, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Roger. It is our birthday tomorrow. <laughs> so June try 30th. this, not necessarily at home, but when you're out camping next time, you're going to yes. love it. It is super awesome. We will see you next time. Bye. Bye, bye. Early birthday present. A birthday present for me? How today. strange. We could use it today. <laughs> I should take my I could use it today. And so that was some random person in the woods that we account encountered A variety. just giving out gifts to cover every outfit or some to share. <laughs> what is it? 
for cutting onions. Oh, look at that. Goggles! See? And for the campfire. Oh, I love how you went straight to onions because you know everything we do in Everything has onions, onions so. and I can't cut them. Thank so awesome. you, Mom.